Hello there, I'm, I'm Tom Headley. Uh, I wrote the original movie of Flashdance, and we've adapted it to the stage. So first let's go way back and right. talk about what your inspiration was for writing Flashdance originally. How did it all come about? I was uh, a friend of mine who was a taught painting in Toronto. He's an abstract expressionist painter. He had, uh, he did life studies, nude studies, and he would have girls come in and pose for whatever it was. And one of them became a friend and he says, you know, we, we put this little show on. We, why don't you come down? And, and, and it was a little club, really a pub, really, nothing more than that. And it was a very modest, blue collar neighborhood. Uh, where they did a kind of modern burlesque, where they made fun of strippers. They had names like Gina, Gina the Sex Machina, and there was a, a, a girl who was a bodybuilder, and she called herself Muscles Marinara. And uh, it was kind of a spoof. But they did dance, and they did their own choreography, they did their own lighting, they did their own costumes. It was, it was charming because, you know, but a mum or an aunt would come in and help them with it. Uh, and I had a girlfriend who was a, a, a very pretentious actress who uh, was a, had, had a master's. And she, did, she wouldn't be a waiter or anything like that. She says, no, I'm, I know. I said, yeah, but we have to pay the rent. And so she came back and she was a fire alarm installer. She had boots on, uh, belts with walkie-talkies, tooks and leather jackets and she looked incredible that she changed for dance class and then I would notice this mix of industrial worker drag with dancer drag. I thought that's fantastic looking. And so that, that was where the style was born. And then I decided that it, 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 I needed to have a name for the style. And so I came up with flash dance which meant uh, fashion, dance, music, in a flash, in one image. Mm -hmm. And that became the complete style of flash dance. What made you want to take all that and put it on the stage? Well, my agents were bothering me for years on it, and they kept saying that Mamma Mia made so much money, and I said, <laughs> I don't care, I, I don't know, I've never done one. I, so I was nervous. But I finally got into it, and then I'm glad I did, because the stage is so much richer, and you have, you're forced to tell a story, whereas, Flash as the movie was just really a slice of style, you know, it was more like a music video. So I enjoyed that part of it. It was hard though. And what changes needed to be made then to sort of adapt? The well, you need, you need to fill out the story. For instance, it is a class story. Mm -hmm. It's about the boss's son taking out a girl who's in the pipe fitters union, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so, so you, that had to be dramatized. Mm -hmm. Because she wouldn't normally not go out with a suit like that. You know, and, and so it, it had a, drama is conflict, so whenever you can get conflict in the story, yeah. it works. And obviously, the story has been so successful. What elements of it do you think have made it this successful you know, to multiple generations? Well, well it's, I think it's the timing. I was very uh, obsessed with women in transition, mm -hmm. and these were really strong women. I, yeah. I loved. Uh, I found women who were very sexy who were very good at man's traditional jobs because yeah, they, if they're going to be pipe fitters or welders, they have to be better than the guy yeah. because the guys will just you know go after them. And so they, they were impressive and uh, I, I thought I'd like to tell a story or it, from that world. And it was at the time when women were transitioning into taking the romantic lead away from men. Yeah. We have a song called Manhunt, which was written specifically for that. So it hit a chord in women. Mm. You mentioned Manhunt, that's one of the, just yeah. one of the many yes. iconic songs that are in yeah. the show. Um, personally, what are your favorite highlights from it? Well, I mean, I like, uh, you know, Flashdance, what a feeling, because mm -hmm. that's the one that won the Academy Award. Mm -hmm. And it's Giorgio Moroder did it, and so, uh, but then we, we stumbled a bit on on putting the music together. We had a great um, music arranger, and in the old days with movement, I think today too, uh, the music budget is a post-production budget. 
so they don't give you any money to do it. So you, ha you have to rush at the last minute. So it was just a miracle that we, we got all these great songs. And it was because of him, because of the music right And you've got loads of new ones in it now Yeah, we have as well. loads of new ones. I hired a young composer from Toronto, Robbie Roth, mm -hmm. who uh, I, he had real talent, but he came from the rock and roll world. Uh, and uh, he, he had, he, I knew he could do 80s music, but he would have young ears. Yeah. He wouldn't be slavish. He would come up with his own interpretation. You know, that's what he did. Good. So then, for our cast, what advice could you give them? Well, it, yeah. the one thing is, is that, no, there should be no whining and complaining. Because, you know, the working class instinct is especially because of Thatcher. Yeah. And what Thatcher did, there's a lot of anger there. Mm -hmm. There is in America too, but they're only getting to it. And so the blue collar worker, they're full of bravado, cold beers, football games. They're, they don't have any, they're not complainers. Uh, and so you have to play them with a, a certain kind of bravado. Mm -hmm. And there's an instinct in the material because it's political to get, be angry. Mm -hmm. I, I keep saying, you know, class is the English disease, but the American disease is race. So bear, bear that in mind. Cool. And finally for our audience now, um, what words would best sum up a night out at Flashdance? Oh fun, I, I just wanted to, 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 to uh, everybody to have fun. Yeah. And it can be driven by women because they win. They win at every turn. And so it's always good to see that. And one of the first delights of the audience was how many dance schools came, mm -hmm. young ballerinas. Yeah. No, it's, it's, That's connected with the story. They, they connect with the story, yeah. Yeah. It's a dancer's story. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Thank and you. I hope you enjoy the show when you get to see it. I will. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it.